Welcome to another episode of the Knit and Spin for Fun channel. Today, I'm going to show you um, how to dye roving in a microwave. Now, I have done other dyeing videos. I have like a felting ball um, and dyeing other types of wools. So today, what you need is your dyes. I'm using Kool-Aid. This is a dye that you can um, use with kids or if you want to make sure that you won't sniff in the chemical dyes. It's very, very safe. It's just like a drink. It's Kool-Aid. Another thing that you need is a turkey baster, um, a fork or a spoon, three cups or how many cups you need for your dyes. Today I'm using green, blue, and orange. You're roving, you can get rovings from nit nitpicks, like here, which I tore up the label, but that's what it looks like. And it's 100% Peruvian wool. You also need plastic wrap and tin foil and a microwave and a towel also. So that's what you need. And then I'm going to show you how to do it. So first off, you're going to mix your dyes with vinegar, water, and Kool-Aid. So I've done that here. And that's what it looks like inside. You can put a little bit of hot water in there if you want to just to make sure the dyes are saturated and melted down. And also another thing you probably will need is a glove to make sure your hands will get dyed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start from one end to the next and I'm going to take my blue dye first. So I'm going to take my turkey baster, get some blue dye, pull it down like that so it gets into the uh, squeezy part. And what I've done with my wool was before I um, put a dye it is I put it into my um, sink some vinegar and some water let it sit for a couple of minutes and then wring it out and put it on the surface where I'm going to dye. So anyways, I'm going to dye my wool. So I'm going to put it down and just let it go in there into the wool. And you can do this with your fingers so it can get in there. So I'm going to take a little bit. And then just dye it. You can dye it any way you want to. There are gradient, uh, gradients are um, you take the wool and you dye it in different colors. So like if you can put green, blue, and orange and then it will, um, yeah I'll show you what gradient is in my next video because I don't really know how to explain it. So I'm going to put blue. <clears throat> and a fork is a good way to also to put it down like this to make it go into the fiber. And you can also have some white spots. And make sure it can go underneath the uh, wool so it can get all the way through. So that's what I'm going to do right now. And it's okay if you have excess dye afterwards, you can just store it and you can use it later on. And I put two packs of everything in my in my dyes. So I put two greens, two um, blues, and two oranges. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick in the water and rinse out the... Um, Blue dye. Now I'm going to take my green and do the same thing all the way down. Now if you're going to work with little kids, make sure that they don't get them all over themselves because sometimes Kool-Aid doesn't get out of clothes. 
Again, take your fork or spoon, put it in like this, or you can just take your fingers with a glove on, of course, and do it like that. And sometimes dyeing takes approximately close to an hour to do, but when you're done with it, the results are fine. So I'm going to do one more color. Again, rinse out your turkey baster. Now I'm going to do orange. It's okay if they bleed a little, but they bleed too much. You want to um, keep an eye out for that. Again, push it with your fingers, tap it down. And that's how you dye roving. Now, what you're going to do after, after you've done your whole entire um, pieces of roving, you're going to go to your microwave. You're going to cook it for around five to, to eight minutes. Make sure you check on it because sometimes it can pop and make weird sounds, but you just want to make sure it's not catching on fire. And then after that, you're going to stick it on your counter and you're going to see if there's water. Um, that's going to, looks like water, that's mean all the dye is saturated up. And um, before you do all that, make sure you put the plastic wrap over the wool and make sure it's in a tight bundle. And so, what I was saying before, after you looked if there's any water or anything, um, if it's completely saturated the dye, then you're going to take it to your um, sink, rinse it off, and let it dry. And I'm going to show you that in part two on how to dye roving. So I'll see you in part two.